In the 1990s, when the U.S. Air Force first thought about replacing its fifth-generation fighters, it seemed that there was simply nothing better than the F-22 Raptor. However, technology has come a long way over the past decades. Artificial intelligence, hypersonic weapons, drones, and the latest electronic warfare systems have all radically changed the principles of air combat. Therefore, the U.S. decided not to hesitate in responding to all these challenges by introducing the Boeing F-47, the first fighter aircraft developed under the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. Today, we will be talking about what kind of machine this is and discuss how it could surprise its enemies. The NGAD program itself began as the Air Dominance Initiative from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, back in 2014. As part of this initiative, the agency sought to study in detail possible future 2030s fighter aircraft concepts for the U.S. Air Force and Navy. Based on the research results, the Aerospace Innovation Initiative AII, was launched in 2015 with the goal of developing new experimental aircraft, the so-called X-Plane, to demonstrate technologies for future fighter aircraft. The DARPA initiative subsequently evolved into Air Superiority 2030 with a focus on creating a family of systems centered around the penetrating counter-air PCA, aircraft. And only in 2018 did all these plans come together, the program being called to create a new generation NGAD fighter. However, the change of names did not in any way affect the original goal to develop a worthy successor to the legendary Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. Moreover, two versions of the new fighter were being considered at once, short-range, focused on relatively short distances between potential combat areas in Europe, and long-range, meeting the operational needs of the Indo-Pacific theater where current U.S. Air Force fighters lack range and payload. The main idea remains the formation of a family of systems around the PCA with loyal comrades in the form of collaborative combat aircrafts, CCA drones, performing the role of loyal wingmen using manned-unmanned teaming, MUMT. Plus, the fighter will interface with all of the service's newest aircraft, including the latest Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider bombers. So, it came as a shock to many experts that in 2024 the Air Force announced it would reboot NGAD to make sure the program was moving in the right direction. Air Force veterans and industry experts have expressed concern about the service's idea that the B-21 Raider could penetrate an enemy integrated air defense system IADS, screen, even without the support of a manned NGAD fighter. John J. V. Venable, Air Force veteran and senior resident fellow at the Mitchell Institute, stated that this idea that you don't need someone going in and sweeping out the threat in front of AB-21 is absolutely catastrophic. Since this long-awaited program went into deep revision, many assumptions began to arise, including at the suggestion of Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall that the service is considering the possibility of creating a much less expensive aircraft in the price range of the F-35 or F-15EX, from $90 to $100 million per unit instead of the previously announced several hundred million dollars per tail. One of the advantages of the family of systems concept is that certain critical functions, without which it was previously impossible to imagine a full-fledged fighter, can now be distributed across several air platforms. For example, if the goal is getting a human in the loop within line of sight to control CCAs and manage the tactical ballet, a new generation fighter may not have radar or any other types of sensors of its own. Instead, radars, infrared search and track, Systems erst, and electronic support and electronic warfare measures can be dispersed among modular CCA drones and friendly aircraft operating in the vicinity of the NGAD fighter. Simply put, a kind of distributed payload. Speaking of that, in almost all references to the NGAD, there was talk of a heavy interceptor aircraft with an impressive range, at least the long-range version for sure. It was believed that it should carry a large payload inside the body to maintain stealth characteristics and deliver the most painful blows deep into enemy territory. But what if we move the lion's share of that payload to CCA? At a minimum, this will significantly reduce the size of the NGAD fighter. At the most, it will save a lot of money for American taxpayers. Not to mention that the decision to move weapons to drones will greatly reduce the risk for fighter pilots of being shot down by enemy air defenses. 
Reducing payload requirements and incorporating more CCA into the mission would also provide greater tactical flexibility, while larger weapons such as long-range air-to-air missiles in contested zones could carry the B-21 Raider, while the F-15EX Eagle II fighters and B-52 Stratofortress bombers do the same along the outer edge of high-threat zones. The decision to launch weapons will be made by the PCA fighter pilot operating far ahead. Moreover, it doesn't even need to completely abandon its weapons.